It's more than what meets the eye. Ballet is an art form, an expression of passion, determination personified. Sandra Fortune Green. Well, I came to Jones Haywood at 11 years old, so that was in 1951. Her point shoes have taken her around the world, to Russia and Bulgaria. Today, as the artistic director of the legacy of the Jones Haywood School, it's her mission to ensure black children who believe they have the attitude are not deterred. I was not intimidated by the fact that I was studying a European art form because that was how the Ms. Haywood and Ms. Jones approached what they were doing. The school opened in 1941, a time when the nation was segregated. Since then, hundreds of black men and women have gone on to classically walk across stages around the country, like Brandy Lee. I went to the Ailey School um, on a fellowship. And uh, once that fall rolled around, I got into Ailey too. I was invited into that company, went on to the Lion King National Gazelle Tour for several years. Later joining a dance company until 2019, also serving as a teacher throughout the years. Sandra and Brandy have both made professional careers through ballet, the discipline behind learning not only the choreography, but the inner works of the business successfully, they both attribute to the support of their families. A message Sandra hopes resonates with parents of this generation. If they have the support of their parents, it will work. This Black History Month, Sandra and Brandy hope stereotypes won't stop anyone from pursuing their passions. And if it so happens to be ballet, you have a home at Jones Haywood. I like to introduce them to alternative careers in dance so that the thinking is not only on the stage, it's behind the stage. There are opportunities for them to do that as well. Megan Rivers, WUSA 9.